Hola! Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Carla and I'm a third year cellular neuroscience student on the pre-med track. And in today's video, I'll be taking you through a day with me. We're on the MCAT grind at the moment. It's MCAT season. We're trying to figure out an appropriate schedule to balance life and actually, you know, ace this test basically. So in order to start off the day right, I've been trying to build the habit of making my bed consistently. I've recently been reading this book called Make Your Bed, which you can probably tell the main idea is to motivate you to make your bed. And so the idea behind all of this is to build discipline and discipline is based on the consistency of doing small things in order to do that we're starting off with making my bed but who knows hopefully this will expand into more serious things but at least that's how i like to think about it from 9 15 to 9 45 i spend time getting ready for the grind stuff as you know i clear my workspace because clutter isn't aesthetically pleasing and also getting rid of it is good for the brain it is helping relieve potential stress and lastly i want to minimize any likelihood for distraction so of course i'm taking away all of the things that are going to be distracting me besides of course my monitor at 10 a.m i start writing reflections in my journal for about 15 minutes in an attempt to start a new journaling practice. I did do this consistently for a period of time in 2020 until I lost my handy dandy journal and now we're here. I figured 2021 is a new page in the chapter that is my life and I might as well start writing about it. Anyways, if you're curious, in this journal I've been writing a sleep check-in detailing how I slept, like how I feel subjectively, um, what time I went to sleep, what time I woke up, and just kind of how I woke up if I felt refreshed and if not because the whole point of this for me is I'm trying to find the optimal you know routine for my sleep and a way that I can feel the best you know every morning so I can tackle the day. Today I'm gonna be doing a lot of MCAT studying and I kind of needed an accountability buddy. This is where I tap you on the shoulder. And so I've been trying to get like really started with MCAT for the past like five days, six days or so, since January 1st. And it's kind of different with not going to the library and stuff. So I'm trying to modify my workspace. So far, it's pretty decent. I actually really like it a lot. It's more than decent. <laughs> but so far I've been doing all right with like the Pomodoro timer. I'm also waiting for some different books to come in. I'm gonna be using the Berkeley Review. But for now, um, my amiga, you know who you are, she she provided me with some study materials up until that point and so I'm just gonna try to go through this textbook my goal is to get three chapters done today we need to we need to get cracking <laughs> at 10 15 I'm ready to get started with today's tasks and decided to take on biochemistry as the first subject of the morning and I figured this information should still be fresh in my mind and started off working on the topic of amino acids proteins and furthermore enzymes I started off writing all the topics I will be uncovering on notion which I honestly haven't been using for such a long period of time but I still find that it's been useful thus far I really haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna go about studying for this exam. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do today, trying to get my bearings a little bit, but I do know that I will be taking the whole month of January as a review. So I figure I might as well start reviewing some things that are at least, you know, relatively fresh in the brain. My current study plan is from the Student Doctor Network. It's called, it's sdn.com. And I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested. So the way I've been trying to do this is that first I'd take the little practice quiz at the end of the section, and then I'd read the sections and write the information how I understood it with along with some questions under the toggles and the notion page that I'd set up. Besides that, I would then answer the questions again and then focus on the questions that I got wrong and try to explain to myself why I got them wrong and why it would be right the other way. I do intend to pick up the pace in the future, but today is not really such an intensive work day. After finishing up the first chapter, I then decided to take a small break and edit for a bit and then I got a little bit too involved. And you know, I went for a coffee break to see if this is gonna like shock me back into work. All right, so like in an attempt to learn more about the world and read more during my phone experiment kind of time i decided to subscribe to the new york times and so i'm just gonna go snatch that real quick um and it was quite a surprise actually when i walked back inside i saw my grandma she was having a nice little meal and so i decided to spend a little bit of time with her before getting ready to make some of that saucy well it's not really saucy but it's like <laughs> the mushroom coffee blend that i've been trying out recently it's a very interesting taste this they have like different blends that are supposed to like optimize for different things and in this case i decided to go with the think blend considering that hardcore studying is taking place honestly if you guys want to review on this later i'd be happy to give one all right so it doesn't taste like coffee but i discovered this secret i noticed that if i put two packets of stevia in there as if it were like a treat like if i think like oh it's gonna be like a different tasting type of coffee then i kind of like trick my brain into being like oh like this is nice this is a change from the norm cheers i don't want to burn myself mm, nope did it mm -mm. burnt oh and since we're 
since we're having a little chat now. I figured um, I'd mention, so I started a weekly newsletter. I've started this like last year and it's been a little bit on and off, but this year I wanna make sure that I get out 52 issues of the newsletter and I wanna try to be as consistent as possible. So if this is something you're interested in, you just be getting an email from me every Friday talking about different health, productivity and study tips, along with some other things that I find on the internet that week that I find interesting enough to share. So I'll put the link in the description below and please put your email and sign up. All right, so back on to today. So then heading back to my room, I quickly decide that I'm way too amped to be studying from this little caffeine buzz and I should hit a workout. For the full month of January, I will be running and have been running 5K every day. And this might not seem a lot if you're like, you know, a runner or an athlete or whatever, but it's definitely something to get used to for me. So I've been getting on that. Uh, during the run, I realized that I haven't actually eaten much today. And I wrote you guys this very interesting memo. Needless to say, I was starving. Um, I ended up stopping the run a little bit short to get back to the grind. All right, amigos, I ended up finishing early. Just wanted to give you an update for today. And that was when my camera died. But now it's around 6 p.m. and the sun is gone. Been working hard for a little bit and... If you guys have any ideas for what color combinations I could do to be like in the background of my videos, please let me know because it's been so fun playing with these. Um, but yeah, so today I didn't get nearly done as much as I wanted to, but we did get some progress and that, you know, it's all cumulative, so it counts. So I'm pretty proud of that. I do think I'm going to have to modify my MCAT schedule, do something maybe with my desk space or my computer or like have a different sort of routine that I can just get into so I get in the zone better because I feel like I wasted a lot of time this morning. But you know what? Thank you so much for being there. You know, this idea of the accountability buddy thing with you guys, I think is going to be pretty solid. Um, I think this is a start of a beautiful new friendship. <laughs> I'm still kind of on vacation. We don't really start classes until next week, so... I'm still wishing to be in the vacation kind of not have to grind mode, but we gotta we gotta flip the switch. I'm getting antsy. We just gotta get things going. Um, all right. So my mom made mac and cheese, or my brother made mac and cheese, or I don't know who made mac and cheese, but they've been calling me for a little bit. So I'm gonna go head down and have some. But thanks for joining me today for the pre-med diaries MCAT edition. Um, oh my gosh, I just hit like the reflex on my knee. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been really great having you here today. But if you enjoyed this video, found it motivational, inspirational, please do not forget <laughs> to <laughs> like it, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. We gotta get this ground going together. I'll be posting some more study with me videos. And if this video, you kind of enjoyed the vibe of it, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm gonna go eat mac and cheese and I'll catch you guys later. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.